Dr. Holdren, it is time. Please, as I'm sure several of you are already aware, I have been under Dr. Volkert's care for some time. I'm sorry, this is difficult for me. Our best efforts have failed. Every experimental treatment we could devise has been unsuccessful. I'm... I'm sorry to say I am dying. Security's too good. Radiation levels are dangerously high in there. Let me know if you need any radiation protection. I'll communicate with you through their intercom system while I monitor everything from out here. Dr. Ingram? Looks pretty dangerous in there. Do you have enough radiation protection on you? I was just gonna hold my breath. Cute. Real cute. Here. I have two doses of Radix, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. You know, this was a nuclear research facility. If you look around, I'm sure you can find something. Won't be able to pick this. Excuse me, Proctor Ingram. This place has seen better days, that's for sure. Something's
Ingram? Glad to see you're still in one piece. This better be it, Ingram. I'm getting tired of filling your grocery list. Yeah? Well, wait until you see what we're serving for Chow. Then maybe you'll be a little more appreciative. Anyway, we shouldn't stand around here talking. You've got other orders to follow, and I have to finish working on Liberty Prime. In the meantime, I'll take the agitator and stow it on the Pridwin for safekeeping. Here you go. I can't think of a better place to keep it. That's because there isn't one. You know, I'm not sure what the Institute wanted this thing for, but I'm glad we got it first. Now, Scoot, we both got things to do. So, I bet you're eager to get your hands... Excuse me, Proctor Ingram. Do you remember that holotape of Institute data I gave you? I really need it back. I'd appreciate knowing why you want me to hand over highly sensitive data first. Ah, fine. You got me. I'm an Institute spy, and we want our data back. Cute. Real cute. Here's the original. Already made myself a copy. Proctor. So, I bet you're eager to get your hands dirty on our new project. How much has Maxon told you about it? Whatever it is, I'm sure it'll help us crush the Institute. It will, but we've got a lot of work ahead of us first. Come on, it's this way. Unless you're blind as a bat, I'm sure you've noticed that we've been building a gantry on the tarmac. Maxon and Kells have been looking for something that'll tip the balance when we go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Institute. Now, the Pridwin might be a big beast, but she's not built for fighting. That's where our new problem <laughs> This storage thing full of parts is what's left of Liberty Prime. The Brotherhood used it in the Capital Wasteland as a weapon against the Enclave. It's the most advanced robot the Brotherhood has ever had at its disposal. Fortunately, Liberty Prime was destroyed in the line of duty. I've spent the better part of the last few years piecing him back together. And if you think that was easy, try rebuilding a Protectron while you're blindfolded. In order to get Liberty Prime fully operational, we're going to need your help. It'll take a miracle to get this pile of junk operational. You think he looks rough now? You should have seen him when I unsealed the salvage crates filled with his parts. Now, the good news is that we've got most of Prime's parts fully assembled. The bad news is that it's going to take more than a few rivets and some spot welding to get them working again. And the first problem is his CPU. It's fragile, and every time we try to feed power to it, it blows itself out. 
There's got to be a way to solve that. I do all the maintenance on the Pridwin, so you'd think it'd be a snap. As much as I hate to admit it, Prime's power systems are out of my league. Luckily, you were able to convince Dr. Madison Lee to return to the Brotherhood. She was on the original build team for Liberty Prime a little over a decade ago. I've already spoken to her, but she's reluctant to work on Prime for some reason. If you could get her down here to lend a hand with his power system, we can get the big guy moving. Documented technologies will be subject to inquiry and punishment. If you're here to talk me into working on Liberty Prime, you can forget it. You promised you'd help us. You're right, I did. But you neglected to mention that I'd be asked to work on Liberty Prime. I've been down this road with the Brotherhood before. Why would I make the same mistake twice? Help us end the Institute's greed. All those people dying in the Commonwealth while I was surrounded by food, medicine, and comfort. How could I be so blind to the Institute's greed? Oh, you really know how to push my buttons, don't you? Tell Proctor Ingram to get her scribes ready. It's going to take a hell of a lot of work to get Liberty Prime back online. But we'll get it done. For Maxon, for the Brotherhood. Proctor Ingram. Well, things are off to a good start. Isn't that right, Doctor? I hope so. Prime suffered some significant damage to his memory core. I wish your people would have been a bit more careful, Proctor. The good news is that the damage isn't irreversible, and I should be able to get the power flowing into his CPU core without overloading. If your people stay out of my way, that is. Hmm, charming, isn't she? Sorry about that, Ingram. Don't worry about it. We might be butting heads on a few issues, but I've dealt with worse. Besides, Dr. Lee's worth all the aggravation. We're working with one of Prime's original designers. I don't see it getting any better than that. In fact, since things are going so well, we're gonna have you start building as electromagnetic actuators. You're acting like I know what those are. Oh, I know you haven't the faintest idea what I'm talking about. I just like watching you squirm. The actuators are what allows Liberty Prime's arms and legs to move. Prime's new limbs are way too heavy for the simple hydraulic pistons he had in the past. We're gonna have to rip those out, construct a brand new system using electromagnets, and install them in its limbs. What we need you to do is build the actuators for us. Now that you know what the actuators are, you need to know how to make them. These are the plans and the materials list. Don't lose them. Now before you get that look on your face, you'll be happy to know that we have plenty of the raw materials on that list right here at the airport. The only thing we need you to head out and find is a high-powered magnet. According to Proctor Quinlan, the best place to find one is in any of the ruined hospitals around the Commonwealth. We've already sent out a few teams to find the rest of the high-powered magnets you'll need. They should be back by the time you return. Once you start building the actuators, we need one for each limb, so you'll need to make a total of four. Good luck. To be frank, I don't agree with Father's decision, but I'll accept it. <laughs> On a death claw without back Proctor. Is a great That's way to get all four actuators delivered and done. Nice work. Right on schedule. I've completed the restoration of Prime's basic functions and he's ready to go. In fact, it's getting difficult to explain to the system why it can't move right now. Well, as soon as my scribes get those actuators in place, we'll have his arms and legs installed in no time. Which brings me to your next assignment. It won't be long before Prime can walk and talk, but he's missing one last important element. His nukes. Without them, 
His offensive systems aren't operating at peak capacity. Hey, where are you going? We're almost done with Prime. Proctor Ingram. That's all four actuators. I'll run down to the Super Duper Mart and pick some up. Hmm, cute. I wish it was that simple. Prime's bomb pack is fitted for Mark 28 nuclear bombs. The same type of bombs that were dropped from aircraft during the Great War. The Commonwealth was a major staging area for the military's air force, so we assumed we wouldn't have trouble finding them. But since we arrived, our scouting teams haven't located a single bomb. That's going to be a problem. Without a fully loaded nuke pack, Prime won't have the firepower to take on the Institute. Great. That's just great. Well, hang on a second. But before you give up hope, there's actually a silver lining here. Proctor Quinlan has located some records regarding a military installation, which was used as a nuclear weapons storage facility. We're fairly certain this included a stockpile of the Mark 28s. The catch is that the installation is located somewhere within the glowing sea. Sounds like that's our only option. Yep. I only wish I had better information for you, but that's all we have to go on. Scribe Halen's established a communications point on the frontier of the glowing sea. I suggest you head out there first and establish a signal protocol with her so that the nukes can be airlifted out once you've located them. Hopefully, by the time you've returned, we'll be ready to wake Prime up and you can say hello. Good luck, Knight. To be frank, I don't agree with Father's decision.